think it's a good time to be discussing of politics, I think, when uh, uh, parliament is mid-session and that too with women because as we know, women are, are very candid, we don't hold back. So I think this is going to be a very uh, uh, free and frank discussion. Uh, Sushmita, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me over. Thank you. Uh, Priyanka, I'll begin with you. You know, we are seeing, uh, you know, uh, this is a time where, as I said, it's mid-parliament session. We're seeing a lot of uh, action happening in terms of outside parliament, not inside parliament, jahan hona chahiye. But one good move that is happening is at least from the opposition rank, the opposition is coming together. Can you actually, do you see this kind of unity that is building up to uh, last till 24? I'm sure they will uh, last till 24, uh, until unless someone doesn't choose to derail it. But uh, it is the time for the opposition parties to get together on this issue where it concerns. Just before me, we had um, uh, you know, a Punjab MP talking about what was happening in Punjab. The same right. way we are seeing in Maharashtra as well, where constitution, uh, democracy, everything is being put on hold to have BJP have their way. And this cannot continue forever. And people are watching, people understand that having concentrated power in one person or one party does not work in India. We've seen that during Indira Gandhi Ji's time. We're seeing that now. So there was a declared emergency which we keep harping about, which all the BJP spokespersons keep talking about. And there's an undeclared emergency. And the need of the hour is for all the opposition to get together and ensure that we strategically uh, put up a good fight and put up a strong fight. Which brings me to you, Sushmita, because this whole opposition coming together and putting up a fight, um, I was talking to an opposition leader, he's saying, how will they come together for 24 when the vice president ke election mein, the entire opposition did not vote together? So, this unity will go to 24? And your party was the one that did not. First of all, Priya, I thought this show was on women empowerment, but you are allowed uh, everything, every question and we come from a party where we don't avoid the media and we are very happy to answer all the questions. <laughs> uh, so yes, uh, the person who uh, said vice president ke chunav mein kya hua, kya nahi hua, uh, I would like to tell you that uh, opposition unity is not about a uh, president of India's election or a vice president's election. It has to be something that has to be very carefully stitched state-wise. It's a very fine balancing act and to oversimplify to say are you standing at the Gandhi statue together or are you at the Vijay Chak together is oversimplifying something uh, which needs very careful stitching. But I think what's important and people who are for uh, opposition unity and there are many people in this country who want the opposition to unite, I'd like to tell them that it has been done before it has been done before with the UPA, as you've seen. It has been done at times before election results, and there's every possibility of doing it after election results. So I don't think we need to jump the gun, but I assure you, Priya, irrespective of all the voices of concerns for oppo opposition unity, it doesn't matter who's standing under which statue, when it comes to any issue that's impacted the nation, we've stood with the opposition, and I think uh, my good friend Priyanka will uh, stand true to that and she will tell you that if you were to ask her. I will ask her but first I will ask of Rajita because unity is you know against uh, one party. So how do you um, you know see all these moves that are happening and my other question is why do you make a big deal of the, you know, Rahul Gandhi's Cambridge speech? Was it just to build up Rahul Gandhi? Does the BJP prefer a Rahul Gandhi versus Modi fight? A very good afternoon. I think I anticipated these questions. <laughs> I will start with a few lines in Hindi. Milkar kehte the shahar ke sare jugnu suraj ko aaj ugne nahi denge. Suraj ug bhi raha hai aur suraj mein chamak bhi jada hai. Badi namrata ke saath yeh baat mein kehna chahti hoon. I say this with all humility, but with a with lot of conviction at my command. And uh, as far as opposition unity is concerned, I would definitely convey my best wishes to all of them. I think opposition should be strong and that's the hallmark of a good democracy. Uh, we, the ruling dispensation, would like the opposition to be strong. But the fact remains that unfortunately, in fact, this is not happening and uh, people understand what's what. So I think when people have gone all out to bless 
Honorable Prime Minister Modi and his entire uh, team of workers. I think there is something wrong with the opposition parties. Otherwise, why election after election, the scoreboard would say something which is not in their favor and which is in favor of uh, Bharati Janata Party. So I think it's the time for all of them to sit together or sit individually and look within themselves as to what's going wrong. I think uh, for that matter, they cannot blame the BJP. If BJP is winning, I think BJP is winning because we are moving ahead with Parishram and Parakram. We are doing a lot of hard work. We are with the people, we are for the people. The schemes are not just announced, we are implementing each and every scheme properly on the ground, we are on ground zero, and that's what will be advised. Now, as far as Rahul Gandhi, the second issue is concerned. See, it's not a question of propping up Rahul Gandhi. I think we just heard uh, the earlier speaker. She was talking about Rahul Gandhi and she was saying all kinds of things against him, but I would definitely like to say that we wish him good luck, but the fact remains that he cannot go beyond the boundaries of the nation and say things against the country and its systems. See, during his 4,000 kilometer Bharat Jodo Yatra from He had enough opportunity to kind of, you know, say anything and everything against Prime Minister Modi and the government. And he has every right, he is well within his right as an opposition leader to say anything he wants to say. But I think when we talk of our nation, when we talk of our nation's dignity, I think there has to be maturity when you go beyond the boundaries of the nation. It's not just Rahul Gandhi, anybody, so to say. I also, as a member of parliament or any other citizen of the country goes abroad, must be within his or her Lakshman Rekha. See, there are areas where we, we cannot actually enter into. And I think 140 crore Indians have been watching Rahul Gandhi in Cambridge, abroad, and the way he spoke. And I'm sure, okay. again, with a lot of confidence, I can say not one person will side with him the way he spoke there. I don't think anybody will approbate that. Okay, uh, the Congress spokesperson ka message aaya ke unko sura jana pad raha hai because of the case, so she won't come. But Priyanka, ek, um, one political sawal then I want to ask you about uh, something else. Uh, ye unity ko dekkar, abhi jo dinner hua tha, wahan pe Rahul Gandhi ne uh, jo Veer Savarkar ke baare mein bola, so your party stayed away. So, ye, uh, aapko lagta hai, ye opposition unity ideologically aap, uh, hai ya regional uh, aspirations ki wajay se nahi ho rahi hai? Where do you see the cracks? So, uh, sabse pehle Priya, I'd just like to answer to that four line shairi that she said. Suryodaya hota hai, prakop bhi hota hai, suryast bhi hota hai. Ye, ye prakriti ka niyam hai. To jo sunrise hota hai, sunset bhi hota hai. Or naya din, naya savera hota hai. Or is raat ki subha bhi hoti hai. So, I wanted to answer them in four lines. The other thing is that our party, like Sushmita Ji said, in issues, we have to ask us, we are talking about different issues, there is something different. When TMC says that we should talk about Adani, when we say that we should talk about JPC, when we say that you have promised in 2014 that you will clean governance, there is a question here, who has shown Adani Ji on Adani Ji? Who has shown Adani Ji on Adani Ji on Adani Ji on Adani Ji? दो हजार चौदह से जो उनकी प्रगति हुई है, काश हमारे देशवासियों की होती, काश हमारा पर कैपिटा इनकम बढ़ता, काश हमारे देश में 80 करोड़ लोगों को राशन मुफ्त का राशन लेने की जरूरत न पड़ती। ये हम चाहते हैं प्रगति हो, पर एक ही इंसान की जहाँ पे अदानी बचाओ का अदानी बढ़ाओ कार्यक्रम चल रहा है, 2023 से जनवरी से अदानी बचाओ कार्यक्रम चल रहा है, जिसकी वजह से पार्लियामेंट नहीं चलने दे रहे हैं, तो इश्यू सब के अलग हैं, हम गांधी स्टैच्यू के सामने खड़े हों, हम प्रोटेस्ट करें, पार्लिमेंट म that the media started asking tough questions of the government of the day rather than asking the opposition, when are you all getting united? I think you all should ask the Prime Minister what happened to the promises you made to the people. Ask her, she's a BJP spokesperson, she will tell you. She will try and give you the answers. That why is it that there is only one company, one group which has managed to succeed by leaps and bounds, you don't have the CBI at their neck, you don't have the ED at their neck, you don't have the SFI at their neck, you don't have the DRI at their neck, you don't have even SEBI opening their mouth. 
and look at the speed at which they function when it comes to the opposition leaders, political opposition. So that is the difference and that is where the opposition stands united and I think the nation stands united on this particular issue. Uh, you have to give the answer to Sushmita on. Look, it's like that where Adani and their society is talking about, I want to say that this is the Adani that has Supreme Court. You all have been here. And the Supreme Court has said that we will make an expert committee. In the Supreme Court, there is also a six member of the expert committee. And it is doing its work. And after that, it will be water, 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 when the expert committee will come. We all keep a little bit of attention, a little bit of attention. And as you keep a little bit of attention, we will also keep it. And we will keep it. हम मैं कहूँगी हम इंतजार कर रहे हैं उस रिपोर्ट का जो भी होगा देखा जाएगा और जहाँ तक देखिए बातों को उठाने का सवाल है एक पर एक संसद अधिवेशन को बंद करने का सवाल है तो ये करते आ रहे हैं आप याद करें रेफेल इशू आप याद करें पेगेसिस आप याद करें जीएसटी आप याद करें डीमोनेटाइजेशन आप याद करें सेंट्रल विस्टा और हर बार ये सुप्रीम कोर्ट गए और हर बार मुंह की खानी पड़ी दे हैव टू बाइट द डस्ट सो आई थिंक आई थिंक एस फॉर एस भारतीय जनता पार्टी इस कंसर्ट वी आर वर्किंग विथ लॉट ऑफ सिंसियरिटी लॉट ऑफ डिटरमिनेशन एंड वी हैव आई थिंक वी आर क्वाइट ट्रांसपेरेंट एंड आई थिंक लेट द सुप्रीम कोर्ट डिसाइड लेट्स नॉट क्वेश्चन द विजडम ऑफ द ऑनरेबल जजेस ऑफ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट थैंक fine lawyer over here also. But so, uh, Shushmita, why is it that uh, uh, examples diye hai, they have got vindicated by the courts? And dusra, uh, the issue that I wanted to ask you is in terms of this unity thing, there is, uh, you know, we are seeing within the BJP, uh, within the opposition also, a third fund bana ja raha hai, jiski spearheading Mamta Banerjee kar rahi hai, uh, uh, Telangana party wale kar rahi hai. So is there a feeling that Congress is not the best option to ek, aap apne alag se front banayenge? Let me uh, put one thing at rest. There are certain facts that people have to understand and no one can deny those facts. One is after the Bharatiya Janata Party, the largest vote share in the country is with the Indian National Congress. Okay? So neither Mamta Banerjee, my leader and chief minister of Bengal or nor anybody from my party has ever denied that. It is very simple. But I think I'm at the cost of uh, uh, repeating myself. I would like to say that please don't let this narrative uh, uh, be put in the public domain. Oh, everybody against Modi. No, it's not about an individual. Okay. It's about a country. It's about democracy. It's about civil liberties. It's about freedom of speech. It's about all of these things. It is about all of these things. And let's face it, BGP does not have the majority share or vote share in this country. They won with, I think, 40% approximately. You can correct me if I'm wrong. So the rest of India is not voting with the Bharatiya Jinta Party. So that's the challenge that how will, do we galvanize that? Because that's the opinion we are looking at. And every leader, every leader, no matter which state they are in, they're studying it very carefully and something will come together. You know, one thing I want to say, Priyanka, just give me 30 seconds. You see, it is uh, very simple. Uh, you know the grand old party is not here, Supriya Shinet is not here. But let me tell you, it's not the first time Rahul Gandhi ji has gone abroad and spoken against the Prime Minister and, and BJP. Am I right, Priyanka ji? Two years ago, he went to the 17th, he went to the 18th. The question is, what happened in this 17th, is that you have stopped the Prime Minister to stop the Prime Minister, Rahul Gandhi, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me, that's the only reason for Adani. And I'll say this in the other thing, Priyanka ji, you'll say that because the Supreme Court, the expert committee through which the Supreme Court is looking into this matter, cannot call the Prime Minister into question. If anybody can call the Adani Prime Minister's so-called nexus into question, it is the Parliament that can make the Prime Minister accountability. So you cannot say Supreme Court has sat down with an expert committee, so you cannot make the parliament defunct. It's the highest body of accountability in a democracy. We can call the Prime Minister of India to answer. And what is the matter of fear? If you have all the answers, 
आपके पास सब जवाब है तो आपको वो सदन में चर्चा करनी चाहिए अनादर थिंग प्रिया लेट मी टेल यू द एंटायर सेशन दिस टाइम हैज बीन स्टॉल बाय द भारतीय जनता पार्टी सिंह राहुल गांधी माफी मांगो और ताज्जुब की बात ये है राहुल जी को डिस्कालीफाई हुए हुए सात दिन हो गए अभी भी सदन के अंदर बोल रहे राहुल जी माफी मांगो जो सदन में है ही नहीं और राज्यसभा में भी हाँ और राज्यसभा में भी सो वन सिंगल रीजन इज दिस आई एम नॉट सींग इट्स वन सिंगल रीजन बीजेपी इज डैम स्केर्ड ऑफ डिबेटिंग अदानी इन द पार्लियामेंट यू कैन बी रेस्ट ए श्योर्ड ऑफ दैट यू कैन बी रेस्ट ए श्योर्ड ऑफ दैट पर एक ये जो वॉन्टेड कम है जस्ट वन थिंग ये सुप्रीम कोर्ट का क्योंकि बार बार हवाला दिया जाता है रफेल में देखिए इसमें देखिए ये सारी ये सील्ड एनवेलप्स के बारे में मैं नहीं कर रही हूँ ये चीफ जस्टिस ने अभी कुछ दिन पहले कहा है कि जो सील्ड एनवेलप में सारी इन्वेस्टिगेशन आती हैं उसको ख़त्म करने की प्रक्रिया क्योंकि आजकल तुषार मेहता जी हों कोई हों वो बार बार कहते थे सील्ड एनवेलप में हम जवाब दे देंगे चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ इंडिया ने कहा है ये प्रथा खत्म होनी चाहिए ये भी अभी जो आ रहा है और ये जो सुप्रीम कोर्ट में इन्वेस्टिगेशन का दायरा है वो पॉलिटिकल करप्शन का नहीं है क्रोनी कैपिटलिज्म का नहीं है उन्होंने बस ये मैंडेट दिया है कि सभी जो हमारा रेगुलेटरी फ्रेमवर्क है क्या वो पुख्ता है कि अगर इस तरीके की कोई कार्रवाई हो कुछ किस्सा हो वो इन्वेस्टिगेट कर पाए पर यहाँ पर तो चिड़िया चुग गई खेत वाला काम है सभी शांत बैठी हुई है सभी की जिम्मेदारी बनती है कि बताएं कि यहाँ पर ये शेल कंपनीज इतना पैसा इन्वेस्ट कर रही थी इतना उनका शेयर पंप इन कर रही थी इन्वेस्टर्स का पैसा एल हो एस हो बाकी सारे बैंक्स हो नेशनलाइज बैंक्स हो अभी तो पेंशन फंड का भी आ रहा है कि पेंशन फंड भी उसी में जमा है तो आप समझ सकते हैं हम सबकी एक तो ना पर कैपिटल इनकम बढ़ा और जो हमारी गाड़ी मेहनत की कमाई है जो हमने सेविंग्स में डाली हुई है वो भी आपने अदानी स्टॉक में लगा दिया तो कहाँ तक आप उनको लोन देते रहेंगे कहाँ तक आप उनके शेयर मार्केट में पैसा डालते रहेंगे और आप इन्वेस्टिगेशन भी नहीं करेंगे तो जो पोलिटिकल करप्शन की बात है जो जे की डिमांड है जे की डिमांड क्या है कि आप ई डी आई टी सी बी आई एस एफ आई ओ डी आर आई अदानी जी को भी बुलाना पड़े अदानी जी को भी कटघरे में खड़ा करें वो सी एफ ओ जो कहते हैं तिरंगा पीछे लगा कर कहते हैं दिस इज एंटी नेशनल उनसे पूछो किस तरीके से ये एंटी नेशनल हो गया आपकी कंपनी एंटी नेशनल हो गई कंपनी के बारे में अगर सवाल उठा लिए तो ये सब दायरे में आएंगे और ये इन्वेस्टिगेशन जे पी सी की मांग पहली नहीं है भारतीय जनता पार्टी पूरे दो हज़ार चार से लेकर चौदह तक यही तो रोना रो रही थी कितने इन्वेस्टिगेशन हुए हुए कि नहीं हुए सो यू हैव टू इफ यू वॉन्ट इफ यू बिलीव इन द आइडिया ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी अलाउ द ट्रूथ टू बी आउट इन द फ्रंट ऑफ द पीपल ना उनके सामने उनको ये फीलिंग होने दो हाँ हमारी सरकार ने हमारे मोदी जी इतने साफ सुथरे हैं कि मोदी जी ने कहा करो जो कार्रवाई करनी है मैं सबका जवाब दूंगा दिया प्यार किया तो डरना क्या पर अगर आपको लगता है जो यहाँ सब कह रहे हैं कि आप क्या डर गए हैं अडानी को लेके और इज देर सम अदर रीजन वाई आप सोचते हैं कि अडानी इशू शुड नॉट बी डिस्कस ऑन द फ्लोर द हाउस एक तो आपने बोला है कि कोर्ट में मामला है ये कोर्ट की कमेटी उनको देखेगी लेकिन ये जो परसेप्शन बन रहा है जो जो ये कोशिश भी कर रहे हैं अपोजिशन जैसे कि करप्शन का कुछ ना कुछ आए पी तक आए टैग तो दिस इज क्योंकि अभी प्राइम मिनिस्टर ने भी कहा था ई डी इज एक्चुअली यूनाइटिंग द अपोजिशन सो दे आर सेंग कि भाई आपके पास भी है यू नो देर इज समथिंग रॉन्ग my dear friend against this backdrop let me remind you that we have won three elections in the northeast and we won five elections last year five state governments of bharatiya janata party and uh, three governments in northeast very recently done ours so people have faith in the policy and intention of prime minister modi and his entire team let us not forget that and i must say that to me it seems as though cynicism has become the national disease of india why should the opposition parties put a question mark on the credibility the efficiency the capability and the uh, ability of all these uh, uh, institutions constitutional institutions judiciary is bad judiciary cannot be trusted executive is bad executive cannot be trusted ed cbi everybody is bad it's not that all these are constitutional bodies and i think kahi na kahi hame inki karyakarita par vishwas rakhna hoga kahi na kahi sakaratmakta ki desh mein zarurat hai aap sab ek ho aur ye to hamare modi ji ke liye aur hum sab ke liye badi badi bada acha lakshan hai agar sare log एक व्यक्ति के विरुद्ध खड़े हो जाएं 
तो इसका अर्थ है कि वह व्यक्ति सही रास्ते पर जा रहा है ये सुष्मिता ने यही कहा था कि दिस इज द नैरेटिव दैट दे वांट वन अगेंस्ट दैट एवरीबडी अगेंस्ट मोदी बट माय क्वेश्चन इज कि अभी जब मैम ने अपराधिक अपराजिता जी ने कहा था कि नॉर्थ ईस्ट में चुनाव हुए थे वहाँ तो अडानी मामला नहीं था कर्नाटक में चुनाव होंगे आई डोंट थिंक अडानी मामला इज गोइंट टू रेज विन और लूज कर्नाटक इलेक्शन सो इज द अपोजिशन पिकिंग द रॉन्ग इशू सी लेट मी टेल यू समथिंग Uh, that first of all in meghalaya bjp didn't win npp won they got uh, lesser seats than uh, trinamool congress and uh, uh, indian national congress they got two seats but your friend hemanta no, is treating it as a victory anyway sorry as your friend hemanta is treating it as a bjp nda victory no hemanta can treat anything like anyhow i mean and he's a better friend of yours than mine <laughs> so what i'm saying is that that i'm just putting you know some facts on record and in nagaland they didn't even contest all the seats okay so let's get that fact straight bjp did not win all three elections yes they won tripura i have to accept that so now coming back to your question is uh, 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 you were saying that what are the issues that we take to the people see if winning an election if winning an election makes everything right in a democracy then let's not forget for 56 years bjp was not in power but they consistently opposed all the wrong policies of the indian national congress so all i'm saying is please understand that there are several states in which bjp is not in power they are not in power in andhra they are not in power in telangana they are not in power in west bengal they are not in power in bihar okay and so on so forth so let us not go into who's won how many seats and what is uh, you know uh, the election result if something is wrong in a democracy you've heard it before the norm is the opposition must have its say and obviously the party with the numbers and the mandate will have its way because they have the votes in parliament so why crush the vote of the opposition agar aapko apne डेवलपमेंट एजेंडा पे इतना भरोसा है अगर चुनाव पे चुनाव जीतने के बाद आपके अंदर इतना आत्मविश्वास है तो आप डिबेट से क्यों डरते हैं करिए ना डिबेट यू कैन नॉट ऑन वन हैंड से मोदी इज वेरी गुड मोदी जी इज वेरी गुड वी आर विनिंग इलेक्शन आफ्टर इलेक्शन वी आर द बेस्ट पार्टी इन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंडिया एंड देन फियर अ डिबेट दो टू थिंग्स आर कॉन्ट्रोडिक्ट्री ऑपोजिशन को बोलने दीजिए ना क्या है डरिए नहीं इतना इलेक्शन पे इलेक्शन आप लोग जीत लिए जीत रहे सदन पे चर्चा होने दीजिए ना आपकी तरफ अच्छे वक्ता हैं हमारे तरफ अच्छे वक्ता है यही तो इसी इसी को इसी को तो वाइब्रेंट डेमोक्रेसी कहते हैं लेकिन ये डेमोक्रेसी का ये भी है द आयरनी ऑफ एट और द वाइब्रेंसी ऑफ एट के स्टेट इलेक्शन चाहे बीजेपी हार जाए लेकिन नेशनल इलेक्शंस अंडर मोदी बीजेपी हैज बिन विनिंग एंड अभी भी अगर देखा जाए आई थिंक स्मृति रानी सून जॉइनिंग अस बट आई हर्ड अस एन अदर टॉक शो दैट दे आर एक्सपेक्टिंग दिस टाइम इवन मॉर टू बेटर द लास्ट इलेक्शन सो आपका बिगेस्ट प्रॉब्लम है दैट यू डोंट हैव एनी फेस और इशू टू काउंटर मोदी आई वॉन्ट टू आस्क द पीपल ऑफ दिस कंट्री द वोटर्स ऑफ दिस कंट्री हाउ मैनी ऑफ यू ऑल हैव वोटेड ऑन द फेस टिल द टिल दिस इलेक्शन टिल मिस्टर मोदी अराइव ऑन द सीन यू ऑल वोट ऑन द बेस ऑफ इशूज वाई आर वी रिड्यूसिंग इट टू इंडिविजुअल्स देर आर सेवरल इशूज फार्मर्स के इशूज हैं महिलाओं के इशूज हैं युवाओं के इशूज हैं बेरोजगारी है अर्थव्यवस्था बिगड़े जा रही है चाइना एक तरफ से सवार है पाकिस्तान एक फेल्ड नेशन है वो आतंकी हमले कर सकता है चाइना और पाकिस्तान मिलकर कुछ कर सकते हैं वहाँ पर रशिया यूक्रेन का वॉर चल रहा है हमारे प्रॉब्लम हो सकती है सो पीपल विल वोट ऑन इशूज एंड पीपल विल वोट ऑन द बेस ऑफ दोज हु रिस्पेक्ट द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन and the democratic principles of this country and let me tell you the prime minister on one hand at g20 is talking about being mother of democracy fountain head of democracy and on the other hand we are trying to show that we are such a sensitive democracy that one opposition leader going and saying something about india's democracy will have the entire demo- democratic model ca- coming crashing down so th- this doesn't work so there are too many dichotomies that uh, exist so we will fight it out and this fight is not just for winning this fight is for keeping the soul of this nation alive which is democracy लास्ट क्वेश्चन टू ऑफ राजता है अगर आपको लगता है यू नो एवरीबडी इज टॉकिंग अबाउट फेसेस बट सपोजिंग द बीजेपी फाइट्स विदाउट मोदी व्हाट आर द चांसेस ऑफ देयर विनिंग विद मोदी देयर इज अ स्ट्रांग चांस बीजेपी विदाउट मोदी सी सी वी आर विनिंग ऑफ कोर्स बिकॉज आर लीडर इज वेरी गुड ही लीड्स फ्रॉम द फ्रंट 
number one. And number two, don't forget that we go to the people with our report card. Which party in the country has the courage to go to the people with a report card? We go with our development agenda. You know, let me give you two figures. We, as an economy, let me tell you, one point of time, we were just 5% of the US economy in terms of dollars. And in the last nine and 10 years, we have become 14% of the US economy in terms of dollars. We are the fastest growing economy, pre and post COVID. And we are the fifth largest economy. And by 2030, we are supposed to be, the way we are moving, I think would be the third largest economy. Uh, we would be uh, ensuring that, you know, Germany goes behind us. We have just left Britain behind and we have come forward to the fifth position. So we are showing work on all fronts. I mean, we don't, have, we don't have time. Otherwise, you know, it's a long list of the achievements of this government, which I would have actually placed before this esteemed audience. Thank you so much. 30 seconds. Just one 30 seconds I'd want to say. You know, uh, there's, there's something I had raised earlier also. There was a very uh, fiery debate happening between Jawaharlal Nehru and Rajaji where Jawaharlal Nehru ji got up and he, and he was a prime minister then, when he got up and he said, you know, you may talk what you want, but I have numbers on my side. And Raja ji got up and said, you might have numbers on your side, I have brains on my side. So that is the difference. So you can continue talking about the numbers, but issues won't go away. The last words had been given to me, by the way. <laughs> I just want to say one line. Hmm. Those who have studied world history, Hitler ke zamane mein Germany ka economy bhi bhoat achcha chala tha. Ye mein kehna chahti. I must give her the last word on that. Oh, but I have to. Ye na bhule ki abhi abhi World Survey report aya hai aur fir se aap chahe na chahe. Okay, we will. Aap chahe na chahe, Pradhan Mantri Modi ji fir se Vishwastar par sabse lokapriye neta ke roop mein ubar kar aaye to taliyan dijiye. Dhanyavad, bahut bahut. But that answers my question on BJP with Modi. I don't know what BJP without Modi, whether we'll get so many claps or not, but definitely with Modi, he's getting the claps. But thank you all for this very out of syllabus debate. I must, Sushmita was right. I lured you under false pretenses. But I think women should discuss politics and not just. I know, Priya, you told us this is on women empowerment. <laughs> this is women I mean, empowerment. If you had discussed, all three of us would have agreed. All three of us would have had no difference of opinion if you discussed women empowerment. Well, I've empowered three very strong candidates, I think, uh, for the next elections. Uh, so thank you for, for coming here. Thank you for this conversation. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining us. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.